What up, YouTube? -y? Look at all that traffic. Look at that. That's going. That's going like that for kilometers. If you go straight on this road, <laughs> probably all the way to that highway up at 12, where I where I go. Heavy traffic the whole freaking way. That's that's insane right there. Oh, gives me gives me chills. You go that way and you will be sidewalk surfing. Guarantee that. Denny here in Saigon. I'm on my way to teach again. Saturday afternoon. I have about three hours to get up there and I got plenty of time to kill. I like to give myself plenty of time in Saigon. May rain. Does that sometimes. <laughs> this kid's got it going on. He's helping his mom deliver some goods, I guess, maybe. Or get home with the groceries. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I got that job. I got that job in uh, District... Uh, well, it turns out it's going to be in District 11 for two days and go back for three days, so... I'll be teaching in a private school for five days a week and then the language center for seven days a week. And I hope I can save enough money to get back home. If it all works out, I should be, should be fine. Should be able to save some money. As long as my luck holds out. I'll be teaching uh, in the private school. It's uh, primary, uh, or it's um, I'm sorry, preschool and um, and primary school. So I'll be teaching some uh, four, five, six year olds, and then some seven to seven to eleven, I think. The last two days of the week, and then at the language center, it's, it just varies. Uh, it's uh, about four up to fourteen in that range somewhere. I do love teaching though. It is a lot of fun. It's it's challenging sometimes, but it's it's fun. I've had many, many careers and many jobs back in the West. I've changed careers a few times and I've had a I've had a lot of shit jobs in the West too. So uh, it's a real pleasure to be over here in Vietnam teaching English and doing alright. I'm pretty pleased with it. Now all I gotta do is make enough money to go back home and see my kids, because I miss my kids real bad. And maybe, just maybe, I could bring my boy here. Who is uh, 16 at the moment, but he'll be, uh, he'll be old enough to come here pretty soon. I don't really think I can afford to bring him over here and educate him here right now. I'm definitely not in shape for that, but uh, if I could, I would. He needs to finish his, uh, his education in the U.S. It's probably the best idea. Then I'll bring him over here when he's about 20 and he's going to love it. I'm not sure if I'll be living in Saigon or... Uh, I may... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My boy's here. Maybe I don't want to live in Saigon. Maybe I want to live in the province. She's a pretty thing. Yeah, I gotta eat something today. I'm going to go back to my carnivore diet because I think I was doing pretty good on that. I kind of got off of that for a little minute because, you know, I, I like to eat.
That big ass bookstore is right there. Right here next to this uh, Benton Market. It looks like a really big one. It's a good place to get stuff for uh, for teaching. Flashcards and all that. You can, you can find that there. Check this dude out. Try not to hit that when I make this turn here. Yeah, back in mid time. This is the easy route though. See if I go to District 11. Oh my goodness, I gotta go. I gotta go through District 3 in the mornings. Oh my god. It's gonna suck. The traffic's gonna be so freaking thick and ugly. I should go real early. I'm gonna have to get up real early. The more time you give yourself, the better off you're gonna be for sure. Uh, five in the morning and I'm not gonna go home until about nine at night it's gonna be just like when I work in the Amish it'd be more fun though definitely be more fun 